Hi everyone, my name is Gene. I'm an illustrator and a graphic designer. I've been working in the industry for a little over 15 years. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do with recycled comic books. Let's get started. All right, so anybody who loves comic books and is a comic book collector, it's time to look away. Uh, let's talk about a few things you can do with some recycled comics. Now, the first thing you can do that I totally never did when I was a kid because I was a comic book collector is you can page through here and find some cool artwork that you like. Uh, usually I'd probably go for like some kind of crazy action scene or like full page spread. Something, oh there you go, we're just going to use Scott Pilgrim Volume 5. We're going to go in and, oh my god, I know a lot of you are probably cringing right now. I'm actually even going to tear this. Look at that. Just tearing it right up. It's like whatever, just tearing it, no big deal. There we go. I'm going to set aside this comic book here. I'm going to cut out Scott Pilgrim, or this is, I guess, Scott's girlfriend. And kind of, you know, I mean, you can go along the lines if you want, or you can just cut out a big square. Uh, but what you want to do is cut out all your favorite characters. Everybody you love. Spider-Man and Scott Pilgrim's babe here. And... Eh. Then uh, put a bunch of them together in a giant collage on your wall. You know, your sister probably has a bunch of Backstreet Boys or New Kids on the Block or, you know, a bunch of those boy bands that those girls like these days now that it's totally like 1994. And by 94, I mean it's 10 years, 20 years after that. And nobody even knows who New Kids on the Block are anymore. And Backstreet Boys is just Justin Timberlake or maybe he was in one of them other boy bands. I don't even know. But the point is, when your sister puts a boy band thing on the wall, you have to combat the boy bands. And you do that by putting pictures of Scott Pilgrim's woman on there. So you take two or three of those, and you have Spider-Man, maybe Batman, and maybe one of them Superman ones. And you put them all together, and you take some glue, and you just glue right on the back there, and then right onto the page. Another quick thing you can do and this is probably going to be a lot easier, is look through your comic and maybe you're like, you know what, I don't think I wanted these panels to go here. I wanted this crazy guy right here to be over here. Well, now I'm just going to cut those panels out because you know what, I didn't want him to say those things. And you can actually take and re-edit your comic books any way you want. You're the person in charge. So now, instead of, you know, this guy on TV telling us his plan, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back in time in the comic book I'm just going to tear that right out and I'm going to put it over here because I want him to be over here now and if you took a little bit more time you could actually replace all the panels and you could cover over these words and make your own words and just make your own comic book out of somebody else's drawings so there you go. Those are just a couple things you could do with recycled comic books. All right, so there you have it. If you are going to um, recycle your comic books, there are a couple of interesting things that you can do with them. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.